Do you guys know that 25% of SAP projects are getting delayed due to talent shortage? And a massive 49% of companies can't even find enough SAP Espohana experts for that. So this basically creates a massive opportunities for some fresh talents like you and me in this particular field. And here is something even more exciting. SAP right now is planning to expand its university partnership from 900 to 4000 in the next coming few years. That is aiming to train nearly 1 million students in business processes. And that clearly showcases how serious they are about developing some new talents in this particular field. But here comes the big question. Is SAP too hard to learn? So to answer this particular question, I have gone through hundreds of reviews from our students. And what do you have to believe that even a history graduate with zero technical knowledge is now crushing it as a junior SAP consultant in some big MNC. So what you need is the right approach, proper guidance and some patience in you. So whether you are a fresher or someone looking for a career switch, SAP is one of the most sought after skills in the business and technological world right now. And yet, many people get held back by some fears and misconceptions in them. So let us clear those fears and misconceptions about learning SAP one by one. Okay, so starting with the fear number one. Like many of you might be thinking that you are from the non-tech background and you also don't have any technical skills. So maybe you will struggle in this SAP journey. Okay, now to answer this particular question, I want to tell you that this is one of the most common concerns that many are having. But here the truth is that not all SAP roles are technical. SAP is a vast domain and there are both technical roles like ABAP and BASIS and also business focused roles like SAP FI or SAP ML. So if you come from the business background, then modules like SAP SD or SAP HCM might be the perfect fit for you. And now come to overcome this fear. So you can start with modules that is more relevant to your field. You can focus on understanding process rather than just looking at the configurations. And remember, that SAP consultants are the problem solvers, not just coders. Now SAP seems too complex to learn. So this is the fear number two. So yes, SAP can feel a bit complex at first, but so is it with any new skills that you will run, right? And leaving it without giving it a try is also not the solution. So what you have to do is to break the learning process into some small manageable steps. So to overcome this particular fear, you can just start by taking beginner friendly courses. Then you can learn the fundamentals in a step by step manner. And third, practice hands on with SAP systems to bridge the gap between theory and the real world applications. Now coming to fear number three. So many of you might think that I don't have access to SAP software. What should I do or how should I start my learning journey, right? So here, basically you are not alone with this particular problem because many beginners worry where they practice because they lack the access to SAP systems. But the thing is, this isn't a roadblock anymore. Platforms like SAP Learning Hub and training providers like Zarin Tech offers you a system access. Plus, tools like SAP Fury, demo systems are also a great for practice. Now moving on to fear number four. I don't have any SAP certifications. What if I don't get certified? So before answering this question, I want to tell you that earning an SAP certifications or any other certifications isn't a rocket science. What you need to achieve those certifications is a preparation with right strategy. So you can start by following a structured study plan. Take regular practice test mocks and then start with the associate level certifications. But here certifications are, aren't the only way to prove your expertise. Even without the certification, a hands-on experience can open doors for you as well. Now moving on to our fear number five. Will I find a job after learning SAP? Okay. 
सो राइट नाउ द एस मार्केट इज वेरी कम्पिटिटिव बट इज ऑल्सो ग्रोइंग रेपिडली विद द राइस ऑफ एस ए पी एस पोहाना एंड क्लाउड टेक्नोलॉजीज द डिमांड फॉर स्किल्ड एस ए पी प्रोफेशनल्स आर वेरी हाई इन द मार्केट राइट नाउ सो टू मेक श्योर दैट यू लैंड अ गुड जॉब आफ्टर लर्निंग एस ए पी हियर आर सम पॉइंटर्स दैट यू शुड कीप इन योर माइंड नंबर वन फोकस ऑन नीश लाइक यू कैन फोकस ऑन एस ए पी मॉड्यूल्स लाइक एस ए पी एस पोहाना फाइनेंस और एस ए पी बी टी पी विच इज ट्रेंडिंग इन द मार्केट राइट नाउ नंबर टू नेटवर्क एंड कोलेबरेट विद एस ए पी प्रोफेशनल्स एंड हाईलाइट यूर एबिलिटी टू सॉल्व बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम एंड नंबर थ्री बिल्ड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग लिंक इन प्रोफाइल बिकॉज दिस विल बेसिकली हाईलाइट यूर स्किल्स एंड क्रिएट यूर स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रेजेंस टू द रिक्रूटर्स नाउ कमिंग टू अवर लास्ट फियर नंबर सिक्स वॉट इफ आई फेल सो दिस इज द मोस्ट एंड बिगेस्ट फियर दैट मैनी आर हैविंग समवेयर इन देयर माइंड सो हियर वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से इज एवरी वन स्टार्ट समवेयर लाइक नो बडी बॉर्न जीनियस राइट Fear of failure is natural for everyone, but here in this SAP, it isn't about just a pass or fail game. It's a journey of continuous learning over the years. So you can start by setting up small and achievable goals, join some SAP communities and forums that will definitely help you a lot in this complete SAP journey. And remember that every expert was once a beginner. so mistakes are a part of process that tells you that you are going in the right direction so there you have it guys remember that everyone starts somewhere and sap is no different than learning to ride a bike or learning any other skills all you need is the right guidance and good hands on practice over that so i hope i have cleared some of your doubts related to your sap journey if i did then don't forget to give a thumbs up to this particular video and hit that subscribe button below here so that you won't miss any updates coming from our side that's all guys thank you all